Yeah, hello and welcome to this After Effects tutorial for MamaWorld.com. My name is Matthias Müll and today I want to show you how you use the anchor controls in pins and boxes which are hiding behind this icon here. And so I already prepared a little example and this example consists of three texts. We've got this text layer, this text layer and this text layer. And if we enable here the pins, you can see I already created some pins. I have created two pins for this text layer and then created this box around it. And then I actually parented this text to this pin such that it moves with this corner and also created two little pins for this text and created another box around this one. And the same for this text, I parented it to this pin here, created two pins for the text and created a box around it. So far so nice and everything is already dynamic. So if I replace this text, you can see that everything updates as it should. But there are still some problems with this dynamic layout and we solve all of them with the help of these anchor controls. So the first thing I want to change is I want to make sure that this text always stays in the center. So also if I start here adding more lines, it should not grow just to the bottom, but it should really stay in the center of our composition. And in order to do this, we need to make sure that the anchor point of this layer stays in the center of the layer, because the anchor point is like where it is attached to its parent or to the composition. And this is exactly what you can do with the anchor point control. So by default, if I enter here a third line, you can see that the anchor point is still at the bottom of the first line. This is where it's always located and depending on which paragraph alignment you have, it's either on the left end of it, on the center, or on the right end of it. Now if I have the text layer selected and click here on the anchor point controls, it will add some effect to the layer and this is called anchor controls. And by default it sets the anchor to the top left corner of our text because the location X and location Y are set to 0%. If we set it to 50%, you can see that the anchor is now perfectly located in the center of our layer. Right? If I would go here, for example, to 100%, you can see it goes to the right side of it. And now if I start adding more lines, you can see that still everything is nicely centered in our composition because the anchor point is always in the middle of our content box, so to speak. So that's the main idea of the anchor controls, just apply them using this button and then you can say where relative to our text the anchor should be located. And you can also enable this for only X or Y direction and you also can add some offsets to this. So these are like percentage values and these are pixel values and if you combine them you can say something where like we should be in the middle but not exactly but actually 20 pixels right of the middle or something like this. Now another situation where this is useful is if you attach texts at the top of other texts. So here we've got this text number three and as said before it is already parented to this pin so it's moving with this text. But the problem is since by default the anchor point of a text is at the bottom of the first line if we now add more lines you can see that it grows downwards and in this case we actually want it to grow upwards. So what we do is we select our layer and apply the anchor controls and now we set the location in y direction to 100%, which means I want to be located at the very bottom of my text. The anchor stays at the bottom of the text, no matter how large the text becomes. This means if we start adding here more lines, the text now grows upwards. Now on the other hand, if we go to, to this text here, if you attach text to the bottom of other texts, like this one here, uh, your problem is not so big. If we add more lines here, the text grows as expected, uh, all very nice and out of the box because the anchor point is at the bottom of the first line and it stays there. So adding more lines just makes it grow downwards as we want it to be. But there are still some little problems here. The first problem is if I want to change my character size, you can see that the box does not stay in place. Yeah, so what we want to have in this case actually is that the text should not be on the right bottom of the first line, but in the top right corner. So we apply the anchor controls to it and you can see it moves out of place now because by default it sets the anchor here to the left top corner. And we want to have it actually on the very right and at the very top, 100% in X and 0% in Y direction. Anchor point is here. Now, of course, since it was before at the bottom of the first line, the placement is not correct. So we move our text up to where we want it to be. And now if we start adding more lines, and also if we start changing the font size, for example, everything stays in place and it grows from the correct point, namely from the upper right corner of this text. 
Now there's one more little issue that you can solve with this. And to show you this issue, let's go again back to this text here and set it back to just text three. And let's get rid of our anchor controls for a moment again. To get rid of it, you can simply make sure that your layer is selected and instead of clicking on the anchor controls icon here, you shift click on it. This removes our controls again. So our anchor is again on the left end of our first text line because paragraph alignment is set to left aligned. So now let me also hide these pins for a second so that you can see that currently this text here accurately aligns with this box. Now if I start changing my text, let's add an I here at the beginning. You can see that it moved over just a little bit. Yeah? If I add another thing, let's say W, it's now even a bit too wide. Yeah? So in other words, depending on your first letter, if your text is left aligned, the box will jump left and right a tiny little bit. And this is because the anchor point by default, as you can see here for the I, is not placed accurately at the beginning of your content box that is measured to create the box. But depending on the first character, it is a bit more left or a bit more right. Now you can see now it fits to the box almost accurately. And if I enter an I here, it is a bit left of the box. And you see this offset exactly here. And this does not happen anymore if you apply the anchor controls. So we select our text, say anchor controls, I want to be at the very left and the very bottom of my text. And now no matter which letter I choose here, you can see that this edge is not changing anymore. Okay, so this is what these anchor controls are all about, controlling the placement of your anchor point to make your dynamic layouts behave exactly the way you want. Again, this is Matthias Müll for marmoworld.com and I'm looking forward to see you in the next tutorial.